Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 15th of 2022, well, it is titled Full Moon, Full Mars. So what do we see here? Well, we do see an image of our moon in its full phase when it is fully illuminated and in fact directly opposite to the sun in the sky. And that means it rises as the sun sets and sets as the sun rises. And here we see the moon sinking toward the west as the sun would be rising off in the opposite direction. Now we also have a full Mars. Now Mars always appears in a full phase from Earth because it orbits at a greater distance from the sun. So we never see the planet Mars go through phases as we do our moon. In order to see phases we need the object to get in between us and our sun. So the moon sometimes in its orbit will get in between Earth and Sun. And so will the inner planets Venus and Mercury and we see them go through phases as well. So while we on Earth never see Mars go through phases an observer on Mars could watch Earth go through phases because it is an inner planet as observed from Mars. Now we see several images of Mars here and this was during the occultation of Mars by our moon on December the 8th. They were very close together in the sky and in fact the moon passed in front of Mars for about an hour so Mars disappeared. Now unlike an eclipse where there's a major change when something when the moon passes in front of the sun here we just get to see that Mars disappears for a period of time and we can see it off to the upper left side and then again on the lower right. And note as we look towards the lower right as the objects are setting that we start to get some distortions from the atmosphere. So we see that there are some irregularities in the surface that are not actually present there. And Mars looks a little blurrier perhaps as well. But we can definitely see that the uh, limb of the moon on the lower right is a lot less distinct than the one on the upper left which is further away from the horizon. So as we look at things closer to the horizon things get more distorted. Now as I said this was an occultation which happens relatively often the moon having a relatively large size can pass in front of other objects and be they planets or stars. And in fact another occultation occurs in just a couple of weeks now on January the 3rd the moon will again pass in front of Mars and block it out for a short period of time. However, it requires precise positioning for this. For the occultation of December 8th, it was visible from North America and Europe. For the occultation of January the 3rd, it will be visible from Southern Africa and parts of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. So you have to be positioned in the right place in order to see an occultation, just as you do for an eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for December 15th of 2022. It was titled Full Moon, Full Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Geminid. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.